We begin this morning with updates from the service disruption at Kakao Corporation, with many people here in South Korea relying on the company's messaging service as their main source of communication. Kakao says most of its services have been restored, but it seems it'll take more time to get its full range of services back to running as normal. Our Shin Sebyeok leads, leads us off this morning. Two of South Korea's major tech giants, Kakao and Naver, experienced a major service malfunction over the weekend due to a fire at a data center in Pangyo City, just south of Seoul, on Saturday afternoon. No casualties were reported, but more than 50 million users of South Korea's biggest mobile messenger app, Kakao Talk, experienced major service disruptions. Besides online message delivery failure, some of the disruptions also reported included the online payment system Kakao Pay and taxi hailing app Kakao T. Naver also experienced a partial disruption to its shopping services, including Shopping Live. But the online portal giant was able to recover quicker than Kakao thanks to the continued functioning of its main data center in Chuncheon, Gangwon province. Kakao in a statement said that it is working to restore services through operating other data centers. As of late night on Sunday, most of the company's data center servers had been restored, while most of the company's services, including the messaging app, Kakao Map, and Kakao Pay, were back to normal. However, several services such as the Kakao Talk channel, which shares news in the form of a message or a feed, remain suspended. The company aims to fully normalize all services by Monday. In terms of compensation, Kakao said it will look into reimbursements once an estimation of damages had been made. Following Kakao's meltdown, the country's ICT minister Yi Jong-ho visited the data centers in Pangyo and said the government takes the disruption problem, quote-unquote, very seriously and will consider systematic support measures to avoid future disruptions of services. The country's science, ICT, Broadcasting and Communications Committee has decided to summon officials from related companies, including the two tech giants, to its parliamentary audit on October 24th. All eyes are on whether Kakao founder Kim Bom-su will be included in that list. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News.